What would happen if you broke a truck in half and you still won the race? What is going on, All Terrain Nation? If you're new to my channel, I am David Boyd, and I'm an auto journalist here, and I love all things off-roading. And uh, a buddy of mine was at the Mint 400 racing his Nissan Xterra. Danny, you might know him from the show. He's on every so often. And uh, some news come out from that that uh, epic uh, Mint 400 there in Vegas. And uh, GM had their uh, new 2023 ZR2 Colorado out there racing, and uh, it looks great. And I'm going to pop it up here real quick, and so we can uh, all play along and talk about this. So this is the uh, the race version of that, and it looks good. I mean, look at those big beefy tires on that thing, skid plates. It's got lights on it because they do – it's a 400-mile race, man. They I forget how many laps it is, but they, um, they go in and out, if I remember right. And this thing is just a little beast. You can see that. And the thing, it just looks good for one, too. But – Let's read the headline. This comes to us from GM slash trucks.com. And as always, I will put a link if you want to know the rest of the story down below. So 2023 Colorado ZR2 suffers structural failure during Mint 400 and still finishes first. That's something that's something you don't ever want. Now, at no point does uh, GM, are they ever going to be like, hey, we're going to advertise this. But at the same point, you're kind of like, yeah, it broke. But we're still number one, right? I mean, that's got to stand for something, right? But it is, it's, I mean, racers are racers. And that's the cool thing about this is the, uh, the race team just kept it going. And as we'll read here, it says the brand new Hall Racing Chevrolet Performance ZR2 uh, 7330 suffered a massive structural failure. And I want to bring this up so you guys can play at home there. Uh, massive structural failure during the 2023 Mint 400. Despite the damage, the truck still finished and raced first in its class. Now, if I remember right, there's only three or four trucks in this class, so it's not like they had a field of 60 out there and it's still overcome all odds to win, but it's still pretty freaking amazing that this thing held together. Now, as you can see, here is the photo of this, and we're going to blow this up real quick. Look at this thing. That frame is definitely in half. Like, There's no way around it. You can see the rear glass here has been blown out um probably a tire or something from the cab went into it but the thing still finished and i love it man look at this and it's pretty much a stock vehicle now the tires i do not believe those are the tires that come on this i think those are a little bit heavier duty uh it looks like a bf goodridge hard to tell from this photo um but that thing is uh it's beat to hell now this is definitely probably this truck i would leave it alone I would take it to the GM headquarters, let them go over it, which is probably more than likely what's going to happen. Headquarters will go through it. Engineers going to want to see the failure points. But these trucks, are they're bobbing through the desert. If you've never seen the Mint 400, the way these guys race, they're in all kinds of silt. They're jumping. There's all kinds of vehicles around you in your class, out of your class. There's vehicles, faster vehicles around you. And it's just one hell of a good time for, uh, for off-road racing. And, well, this truck had a really good time. Now, I would be curious if GM ever does come out and say, hey, here's what failed. Probably not. At no point, I know Chevrolet's made aware of this. It does say this in this article that they've been made aware of this and they, uh, you know, they'll probably no comment. Let me see here if it does say anything on past this. Let's see. The Silverado despite took first in the uh, Mint 400 despite having a some rear end damage and on the pre-production frame. Notice that. That's very cool. That's very, uh, we got to we gotta cross our T's and dot our I's there. This is a pre-production frame, which is it more than likely no i mean it's they they don't change much up about that but it is good to know about this failure point now before the zr2 production runs start happening and they have not started producing this truck whatsoever so if you're interested in buying a new zr2 don't fret they they will definitely solve this problem you know raptor had this problem uh i know the t-rex has had a little bit of this problem of people want to jump them they see these oh these are desert trucks i should be able to jump them well within reason you know there's still a factory it's not a complete race truck and uh let's see what the has to say here so truck 7330 chad hall driver uh stop production truck mini in mod or mid i'm sorry finished first in his class with six hours uh 39 minutes elapsed time the colorado ran 2.5 mile an hour faster for the first lap compared to the second lap uh compared to 2022 so it ran a uh you know that's pretty awesome that it ran a lot faster than it did before uh truck 7309 a jeep finished second and uh a tacoma did not finish so uh, it looks like that's only three trucks maybe in that class now they have a multiple classes of the Mint 400, and I'm never going to get into you. We can bring Danny on here sometime to really get into, you know, what is all what is all saying. But here, let's look the following statement. Uh, this was the following statement. I'm, I'm sorry. And um, where are you guys at with this? What do you think of this? Was this badass or what? Now, once again, 
they're going to solve this problem. This is not something that if you want to order a ZR2 when the time comes that you're able to do it, that you're going to have to worry about. But it's still uh, it's still pretty cool that the damn thing finished. So in the comments below, you know what to do. Let me hear about your uh, your comments and opinions on this thing. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these broken trucks that some of us have to race and drive, this has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we are out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.